The current guidelines from the USDA recommend that adults consume three cups of low-fat or non-fat dairy per day. However, some experts feel that this may be too much. A recent study conducted found that consumption of milk increased risk of heart disease in participants. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to tell us more about all of this. So what did this study find? Well, it found a 21% increase in heart attack and heart disease in women who were consuming high amounts, that was about four servings a day of non-fermented dairy. The study was conducted in Sweden, 100,000 participants, men and women. They didn't find the same results in men. They didn't find an issue with having fermented dairy products. And the authors hypothesized that maybe women are just metabolizing dairy products differently. So let's break that down because you mentioned fermented and non-fermented. What's the difference there? Okay, well, when we ferment dairy, we're essentially changing it into a completely different substance. That's when you're adding bacteria, yeast, cultures, enzymes to it. And so think of those dairy products that are a little bit sour, like uh, sour cream, yogurt, aged cheeses. That's fermented dairy. Non-fermented dairy is like your regular milk, cream, butter. Big difference. So you're saying there are many benefits from fermentation. Fermenting dairy Oh, the thought is, is that this is really affecting your gut microbiome. You know, we don't talk enough about the gut microbiome. That's the bacteria that's in our intestinal system. And interestingly, we are made up of more bacterial cells in our gut than human cells. And that gut microbiome affects digestion. It affects inflammation in the body immunity, it's even been tied to mood. So when you're consuming fermented food, you're actually really supporting a healthy gut microbiome. And that is what they believe the connection is with this study. All right, so you're talking different types of products like the yogurts or the kefir or like those probiotic type of products. Absolutely. Rather than just milk. Interesting. So what are the best dairy foods for overall health? I mean, what's your thought on this? Okay, so I guess what we're really understanding from this study is not all dairy is the same. So look for those things that are a little bit more sour and fermented, aged cheese, uh, cottage cheese, yogurts, kefir, things like this that are fermented. You're going to get your dairy. I think getting dairy is so important, right? We just talked about this last week in terms of getting vitamin D, calcium, strong bones, but get the right type of dairy. And you know, Santa's coming, so maybe we rethink what we give him with his cookies. Maybe oh, gosh, not regular no. milk, but... I don't know if he'd appreciate yogurt, but... Maybe, yeah. but, maybe some buttermilk. That's you know, true. But, yeah. Good point. Dr. Yeah. Nini Kumar, thanks so much. Good to see you. As always, we really appreciate it. And you Take can care. catch Dr. Kumar's health reports every Monday at 7.15 right here on...